Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So today is a very exciting video. I know that I say that a lot but today is actually a really really exciting video because I am going to do a collaboration with my beautiful friend Emily Violet Marie or Emily but her channel name is Emily Violet Marie. She is a stunning girl. If you go to her channel I bet that all of you guys would agree. Her favorite shadow is pink. She loves pink eyeshadow. So I am really excited to see what she is coming up with today on this uh, little video idea that we have going on. But I thought that I would talk a little bit more about her before I go into the actual video idea that we are going to do today because I really recommend her channel. So Emily does a bunch of different video ideas, but she does for instant makeup tutorials. She does reviews. She does these uh, will I buy it, but on her channel it's it's actually called Pay or Stay Away. She also has this really, really amazing series that I love that is called uh, Spooky Sunday. So obviously it's videos that's going up every Sunday as she does these like spookier topics. So she can talk about basically anything. I know that not the video that went up Sunday because I am actually pre-recording this. So I'm recording this a little bit too early. But the previous two Sundays she did this um, horror movies that are based on actual events. And I remember that you talked about Ed Gein and Ed Gein is the person that I connect flesh beauty to. That is the reason why he is like the reason why I can't really stand flesh beauty. If you don't know who Ed Gein is, he is actually one that is um, inspired by uh, American Horror Story, you know, in the asylum. He is the one that is ripping off the flesh of everyone. Or of everyone but he's a serial killer and he rips off the flesh in actual life he only killed like two people he actually d dug up graves and then skinned people and he loved wearing his suits made out of skin of people yeah I know disgusting but anyway back to Emily when I find found her I actually subscribed immediately and I know that this is gonna sound super duper weird but I love the way she talks Maybe it doesn't sound that weird, but I'm not saying that she sounds like a news anchor, but she talks in a way that is so professional and like, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but I love when she talks. So I really recommend you guys to check out her channel. She is amazing and she definitely deserves so many more subscribers. And I will of course link her channel in my description box and uh, along with her Instagram as well. But she had this idea that we would design our like dream products based on some colors that we really, really love. And I am coming out with a, my own eyeshadow palette and my perfect eyeshadow palette. So I really, really wanted to create an eyeshadow palette because that is something that I think is the best for like these kinds of videos because it's not gonna be really fun if I'm just like showing you a foundation and I'm like, I did this, I think you're gonna love it. So I thought that instead of doing my perfect palette because I've already done my perfect palette. I thought that I would let the pink theme inspire me and I would do like um, an everyday kind of collection. So I thought that I would do, as I said, like my perfect everyday product and we are only designing three products so this is not gonna be like a collection video where I'm showing you a product after product after product but I have designed an eyeshadow palette and highlight palette and a lipstick and I thought that we would start off with an eyeshadow palette no with the highlight palette because I tried to do that in Photoshop but I will explain it a little bit more as we go because I'm so bad in Photoshop like redesigning I don't don't know how people do this I can work Photoshop I'm like pretty decent in Photoshop but when it comes to like redesigning products I'm super super bad so this is the picture that I took this is actually a palette from Makeup Revolution but I kind of just tried to remove all of the shades from <laughs> the Makeup Revolution pan and then I put in the ones that I love so the first shade that you see is actually the citrine highlight from Jouer. Now, obviously, if I were coming up with my own makeup brand or I was creating something, I wouldn't do a ripoff or dupe it, but this is kind of where my thought was going. So here is my Jouer highlight, and I thought that I would do a little bit of a swatch for you guys just so you can see how it looks like on 
skin and this is what it looks like i just also want to um apologize because this is not going to be every sh or every skin tone friendly obviously if i were coming out with my own brand i would do something that would cater for everyone but since this is just like for fun i am just doing it for me just so you are aware but this is what the highlight looks like it's absolutely beautiful and by the way if you think that i'm green here it is because i am i accidentally not accidentally but i kind of rubbed off a marker on my hand right here and i can't get it off it doesn't matter how many times i wash my hand it just doesn't come off so anyway this is what the highlight looks like it's absolutely beautiful it is like a perfect I wouldn't say that it's a gold, but it is a golden highlight. It's not going to be like super blinding right off the bat, but this is going to... If you just blend it out a bit, you can make it a little bit more sheer, but then you can also like really pack it on if you want to. And I love this highlight. This is, I think my favorite highlight of this year actually. So I really needed to include that shadow or that shade in my collection to die. So obviously the next shadow you see or the next shade you see is a pink and I needed to include a pink in this palette. And the shade that you can see is actually the ABH Unicorn <laughs> Highlight. This is the Gr Dream Glow Kit and I, whew, this is used. Ooh. This is what mine looks like, but this is my favorite shade. I need this for like all the time. If I want to be a little bit extra, I put it on over and highlight and I really, really buff it in. And sometimes I just want to do like an inner corner highlight. And you know, it goes so well with a pink look. It goes so well with so many different looks, but also if you do say for instance, that you just go in with a little bit of a crease color, and then you apply this in your inner corner. Oh my god, it's stunning. So of course I'm gonna swatch it for you guys as well. This is what it looks like right here and it's stunning. It does contain glitter so you do need to work with it a little bit more. But I just think that this highlight brings so much more to the table. Like if you are feeling a little bit low or you're feeling just a little bit like ugh dull then this is the perfect highlight to apply on your cheekbone just on top of your normal highlight if you don't want to go like all pink now if you want to go all pink then go all pink for christ's sake like do whatever you want do you but if you just want a little bit of that pink glow to the skin then this is so beautiful to apply just on top to make the perfect pink sheen and the last shade you see is actually from the pixie by petra duo this is the glossy gossamer duo in the shade subtle sunrise and i have only included as you can see it's obviously two shades but i have included this shadow this is the perfect like gelé formula and if you're known to emily's channel she loves highlights in a gelé formula so if you don't have this emily then i think that you should go ahead and purchase this because i think that you will love it um, but this is so beautiful. This is actually what I'm wearing on my skin today and also in my inner corner right here. I go ham with this, guys. I go so ham with this. You do need for the um, Anastasia highlight and then also for this highlight, go in with a stiffer brush. For instance, Sigma F03 is the perfect brush to go in with because it is a little bit more dense and then you kind of just apply it and then you blend it out. It's so beautiful. But I have a swatch right here. I'm just going to swatch it. Where should we swatch it? Maybe just here. I really hope that you can see. I don't really see how well you see because I just have a little bit of a wi-fi viewfinder but it looks absolutely stunning in real life this highlight doesn't contain any glitter it doesn't contain any shimmer it just is that um i don't know but you guys know that i don't like colourpop super shock shadows like i don't love the uh, super shock highlights cheek products whatever i don't like them in a jar but this is kind of what I would Im imagine that they should have been like. You know, when I, I cannot use them because my brush actually doesn't pick up anything. But what this is what I would like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows to be like when you apply them. Because they are just so absolutely stunning. So as I'm going for a pink theme today, the lipstick that I did design is also a pink. But it isn't too bold or too out there. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing it today because I really wanted to use some other products. 
but the shade that I took inspiration from is actually the Carpop Luxe lipstick in the shade Stone Fox. This is a pale pink and this is so beautiful but it's still classy and you can go ahead if you don't want to apply this to have like full uh, pigment you can go ahead and apply this you know just like by dotting it a little bit to your lips and then kind of just smearing it out and then just put a gloss over it if that's the kind of look you're going for or you can just apply this really thick i am going to swatch it right here for you guys so you can see but this is like a nudish pink and i absolutely love this i mean as you can see i've obviously used this quite a lot <laughs> Uh, I do need to purchase a backup next time I order from Colourpop, which I am going to do. Um, I think that this is beautiful. This is also like a cream formula. Now, if I were to design this, the thing that I would change is to make it a little bit more matte, perhaps. I don't know what to apply, but apply something so it lasts a little bit longer on the lips because we all know for an everyday we cannot go ahead and apply like a new like the lipstick over and over after an hour you know so we kind of need something to last maybe until lunch and then we can apply it after lunch and then it will look good until we end so this is what I have for you guys, and now let's hop into the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that I tried to do this on my computer, but as I said, I am so bad at it, and also I can't really get my vision across the way that other people can, and also I just don't really know. I love to go ahead and play with my single shadows that I have in my collection to kind of create something, and that is what I did today. So I did a small palette. I only chose six shadows. I felt like if we're going to go for an everyday, we don't need a 35 pan eyeshadow palette or an 14 pan eyeshadow palette. I thought that six shades would be enough. And I know that a lot of people will look at this and think that this is not an everyday, but I'm going to explain this to you guys. So this is what I went for. Obviously, it's all pink. And I think that this color scheme is actually beautiful. So let's just dive right on in into my eyeshadow palette. And the first shade I have right here is a shade that I would imagine that you could use as a transition. So this is, I'm just going to pop this one right out. This is actually from Makeup Geek. I absolutely love this shade, and this is the shade Cupcake. It's absolutely stunning. I'm just going to swatch it right here on my finger. It isn't like too out there, but it still is a pink. And when you apply this to your, for instance, your transition or your um, crease, it looks very, very natural. And you can go ahead and only take this and take a little bit of one of the highlights in your inner corner, or you can go ahead and take something uh, on your lid if you want to. You can even go ahead like this shade is, I know that this is a little bit more purple, but this is so beautiful. This is also from Makeup Geek. And this is one of their foil shadow in the shade Whimsical. I love this. I think that if you were to sit right next to me, you could see how much I've used this. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. And the foil shadows of Makeup Geek are insane. This is what it looks like. Absolutely blinding. You can use this in your, in your inner corner as well. And I think that you would really, really love this. So for the next shadow, I went in with this. And this is from Colourpop in the shade Seize the Day. This is so pretty. And I know that this might look a little bit out there and a little bit bold. But... You know, you can always sheer it out. I'm actually going to apply a second coat with this. As you can see, I'm just going to apply a second coat. But if you actually go in very, very light handed and then try to like blend it out, you don't have to go in with that much shadow, actually. You know, it always depends on your blend. You don't have to dig into your brush. You don't have to go in with a lot of product. And I think that I would use all of these three shades for an everyday hands down if I wanted a little bit more subtle look or I could even go in with only like the cupcake and this shade. And then this is actually from Coastal Sense. I have never tried this. But I wanted something a little bit more. So this is in the shade Pompano, Pompano Pink. And this is what that looks like. This is also pretty bold, but oh, as you can see, I wanted something a little bit more pink. And for those days when we feel a little bit more bold. Um, so that is the shade I went for. I'm just going to hop. I'm just going to 
skip this shadow for now i'm just gonna hop into this one and this is a morphe shadow and this is a shimmer so this palette contains of two mattes and four no four mattes and two shimmers it looks like this so this is a little bit more pink than the other one that we have as you can see this is very very pale and purple a little bit more purple versus this that is as you can see pink it's really really beautiful and if you couldn't see it's a shimmer shadow when i looked at the palette just like this i was so bored with it so i had to include this bright neon pink and that is just my style so this is the color pop shadow in the shade sand bar or sand bar I said that a little bit slow and I felt like this is for you gals and boys that is bold that is fierce that has like you know for those days when you feel like you need to be bold you need to be a lot today like you want to have a lot of eyeshadow say for instance that it's casual Friday and you have only went in with these two shadows the entire week and then casual Friday comes and you want to be bold so you go ahead with this and you just apply this and you do so many like with this color scheme you can do so many different looks yes of course all of them are gonna be pink but you can do so much with them you don't even have to use a shimmer you can do so much with this I love pink eyeshadows especially because you can go ahead and make pink eyeshadow blend in a little bit better to your actual lid or your skin color than for instance if you went in with a green that is no way near to like blend into your skin color but with this like pink shadows you really can do that and that is why i think that you if you think that this is too bold you don't have to go in with a lot on your brush you can just take a little bit on your brush like for instance if you want to go in with this in your crease and then you go in with this shadow, you can only take a little bit. I'm tapping my brush off. I'm going to apply it so that you can see it maybe right here. Do you see what I mean? Now, keep in mind, I don't have any primer right here. But do you see what I mean? You don't have to go in with like full pigment. If you go in and blend the shadows instead of packing the shadows on, you will get less pigment. So yeah, that was my everyday perfect kind of collection i can't wait to see emily's collection and i really thank emily for collaborating with me i thought that this was so much fun and i really hope that you thought so as well don't forget to check out emily's channel she is really really good and amazing and i definitely recommend her don't forget that if you like this video you can like if you didn't like the video please feel free to thumbs the video down don't forget to subscribe if you are not and i'll see you guys tomorrow i think bye